Welcome back to Hobbytronics. Today we are going to show you how to set up our Bluetooth master board to connect with a Bluetooth slave. Both boards can be seen on the screen with the master on the left and the slave on the right. Pay attention to the LEDs on the boards as they give some indication of what is happening. The Bluetooth master is connected to the PC by a SparkFun FTDI basic USB to serial board. We need to start the Bluetooth master in command mode so we've put a short jumper wire between the command pin and the 3 volt pin. On the slave module you will also see a jumper wire linking RX and TX. This is so we can test the link as the slave module will echo back any data we send to it from the master. The commands required to configure the Bluetooth master are all detailed on our product page. We first start off by setting up the terminal software. Set the board rate to 38400 then make sure the terminal sends a carriage return line feed pair as this is required by the Bluetooth master and also set the local echo on so we can see the commands we are sending. The first command to send is AT plus ORGL. This resets the module to default settings. Next we clear any paired devices by sending AT plus RMAAD. Set it to master mode using AT plus role equals 1. After changing the role, the board needs resetting. Use AT plus C mode equals 0 to allow the master to connect to any device. Now we set up the inquire mode. This will stop searching for devices after 5 devices are found or 5 seconds. Store the pin number used to pair with the slave device. This should be the same as the pin number on the slave. Start the serial port profile. Now we can start the search. After 5 seconds you should see a list of found Bluetooth devices. We need the device address of the Bluetooth module we are going to connect to. This is displayed in a colon separated format of 3 sets of numbers. When we use this address in the following commands the colons need to be replaced by commas. Now we have the address to connect to we use the pair command to pair with the device. Along with the address, there is a timeout in seconds. Now we have paired, we need to bind the address. Now set the C mode to only allow a connection with the bound address. Finally, create the link. You should see the LEDs here change state. That's it all set up. We now need to remove the command link and reboot the master into data mode. It will automatically connect to the slave now and we can send some data. First let's turn off the local echo so what we see on screen is the data returned to us from the slave device.
my typing is terrible so just ignore that we now have two-way communication between the devices Maximum range is approximately 20 meters in direct line of sight. Thanks for watching.